Air brake lines and hoses add a lot of visual interest to a completed model, and in 1 25th scale, they aren't that difficult to install. Trailers are a good starting point for this kind of detail, being fairly straightforward, and I'm currently working on an AMT 40 foot van. I remember a number of years ago, taking pictures of a real trailer parked up for storage that was almost a dead ringer for the kit, as you can see here. Rounded front corners, three indents on the lower portion of the trailer nose, landing gear, lack of spare tire carrier, and the sliding suspension all match the kit. Another matching kit part is this air hose support on the leading end of the sliding suspension. The model version was modified with 20 thou brass wire pins to attach the hoses and short pieces of 1 16th aluminum tube installed to represent the metal fittings. Looking further onto the trailer, we see the air tank, identical to the one in AMT's kit, and the brake valve, which is slightly different from the kit part in that the kit part does not have provision for the two hoses coming into the side of the brake valve, and it's hollow on top instead of rounded. This picture is of a different trailer, but a similar style of valve, and it shows the rounded contour on top, the two ports for hoses coming in the side, and how AMT's part is correct in having four brake hoses coming off the bottom, going to the four brake chambers, one at each wheel. Kit brake valve is easy to modify. Remove the chrome, use a piece of 1 8 inch styrene rod for the rounded top, a short piece of 60 thou square styrene strip for the side port, and the 20 thou brass wire pins with 1 16th inch tube fittings installed at all points where the brake hoses connect. Brake valve is now installed on the air tank, and the brake chambers have been modified with the 20 thou brass wire pins, 1 16th aluminum tube fittings, and two short pieces of 30 thou styrene rod on either side to represent the bolts, which hold the two halves of the brake chamber together. In this view of the real trailer, you can see one of the bolts where the brake chamber clamps together, and also where the brake line comes off the top of the chamber. Some brake chambers have the hose coming up the front of the chamber, and interestingly, this trailer actually has two of each kind, as seen here. These are fairly standardized parts, and may be changed out many times over the life of a trailer, so some mix and match of parts is not that unusual. One thing to note is that this style of brake chamber with only a single hose going into it, has no provision for spring parking brakes, and dates the trailer as being pre-1975. This is correct for the era that I'm modeling, and is also correct for when AMT tooled their kit. This is the spring brake style of brake chamber used nowadays, as you can see by two airlines going into it, and AMT uses this style of brake chamber on their flatbed trailer kit. Back to the model, air hoses are installed using kit supplied air hose material, and you can also make acceptable air hoses by stripping insulation from suitable gauge black electrical wire. Underneath, a nut and bolt casting is attached at the bottom of the air tank, and a small piece of 10 thou by 20 thou styrene strip is glued in place to represent the air tank drain valve. Bottom side view of completed suspension assembly. And from the top side. By using brass wire pins at all attachment points, it's easy to remove the air hoses for painting. With a suspension plumb, we can turn our attention to the rest of the trailer. Here you can see how the air hoses running from the sliding suspension terminate at the frame and transition to air lines that run along the floor of the trailer. This small clamp here, which attaches to the tension spring, was easily modeled using a couple of pieces of 332 tube glued together 
as shown here. Short pieces of 30 thou styrene rod were glued in place to fill in the two hollow spots where the tubes come together. And after final sanding to shape, an eye bolt was formed from copper wire and installed. Tension spring is formed from 32 gauge craft wire and attached to a U-bolt drilled into one of the cross members. Short pieces of solder and electrical wire were cut to fit between the cross members and installed to represent the air lines and cable running along the floor of the trailer. Cutting the pieces of wire and cable to go between the cross members on the trailer was made fairly easy by using a vernier caliper, which I find to be one of the most useful tools on the workbench. Take an inside measurement, lock the setting, and use the depth gauge as a cutting guide. At this stage, the underside of the trailer and the suspension are both looking quite good. One more part of the project is on the front of the trailer where the air lines connect. Here is a close-up look at the real trailer showing the electrical plugs, the airline connections, swiveling glad hands with short sections of hose on them. Now, let's take a look at the front of the AMT kit. Every detail is there, just like on the real trailer, right down to the fastener heads. The only drawback being, the details molded in very shallow relief. And this shallow relief is actually an advantage because it makes it very easy to scrape off the molded on details and add freestanding parts. Because I'll be displaying this trailer hooked up to a tractor, I've drilled out the electrical plug using a 1 16th drill. Electrical plug door was made from a 10 thou styrene disc, sanded flat on one side. The molded on bent plate at the bottom of the trailer was replaced with a real plate bent from 0.16 sheet aluminum. The wire running from the plug down to the trailer floor is simulated with a piece of 032 diameter solder and a pair of 20 thou brass wire pins are installed for the air hoses. Swiveling glad hand fittings were the most challenging part of the project and are a combination of aftermarket resin glad hands, elbow soldered from 364 brass tube, sections of channel made by cutting one side off a piece of styrene 1 8 tube and 20 thou brass wire pins which allow the glad hands to swivel and also provide a place to attach the air hoses. Air hoses themselves were very easy to install. These are simply short lengths of AMT kit air hose material with 32 gauge craft wire springs wound to fit around them. And although it's not air system related, the bill of lading holder on the front of the trailer was too interesting a detail not to model. The bracket is formed from 016 sheet aluminum. The tube itself is simulated with 1 16th styrene rod and short pieces of 332 styrene tube simulate the grommets and the end caps. Fastener detail is represented with four of the O scale decal rivets from Micromark. If you've made it this far, thanks for watching all the way through and hopefully you found something useful along the way. This trailer is getting close to the paint stage, although there are some finishing details left to do. Once it's complete, I'll be starting another truck project and then I'll be able to start posting some more videos showing air brake and wiring detail on trucks.